Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story, check out the links down in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. It turns out I was hitting the string button and I was streaming this the whole time. But here we go. Okay, so I've got this. <laughs> We're recording now and it's all good. Now, uh, this is a film that's been sitting in my movie pile for a while. We watched it about a week ago. Uh, it's a film that I wanted to wait. I uh, wanted to wait for the right time to watch it. And oddly enough, funny enough, my father-in-law surprised me with this film. He surprises me with Criterion's. It's awesome. But uh, it's Come and See. And this is a film that a lot of people have said. This is by L.M. Klimov, I think. I know I'm butchering it. Whatever. Uh, and this was his last film. This was the last film that he ever made. And it, apparently it took him a lot to get this film made. And I can kind of see why. Uh, now, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Just going to say it. If you're expecting a Schindler's List, you're not going to find it here. I'll even go as far as saying that I did not feel the same way I did in Schindler's List while I was watching this. I do feel like it was more of a gut punch watching Schindler's List. But what I can say about Come and See, and then like I said, this is not me saying that Come and See is not more horrific than Schindler's List. What I'm saying is Come and See makes up for all that stuff in Atmosphere. Come and see has the, and I'm going to say it, I, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it. Come and see has the greatest atmosphere I think I've ever seen in any film that I've ever watched. Seriously. The best atmosphere. When you're following these characters running just through an open field and they go into this dark forest and then they come out and it's light again. When you watch these early morning scenes of these this gunfire going on and the mist surrounding you know the character and when you're watching these people in the woods and the rain falling down it's just so atmospheric and it really did suck me into the film it really did i was amazed watching this uh another thing and and this might be somewhat of a warning uh if you're not cool with an animal a real animal getting killed on the screen you might want to stay clear of this because uh, this is this is probably as far as I'm going to get into spoiler territory, and it's not necessarily a spoiler uh, for the film, but they do kill a real cow in this film. Um, and it's, you know, I try to make myself feel better about that, especially I was trying to make my wife feel better about that. I was like, you know, maybe the cow was already sick or maybe they were going to just take it to a slaughterhouse anyway, I, I don't know, I you know what I'm saying, I'm not saying that it's ever okay to kill an animal in a film, uh, but oddly enough, that scene was very powerful, it was very powerful, uh, and it it's it's horrible, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's not, it really is horrible that they did that, they did that. Um, but I guess it was a different time, it's a different style of filmmaking, and uh, what a lot of people don't really get is a lot of these different uh, countries and, and nationalities, they have a different style of film. You know, like there's the American style of film, there's the Japanese style of film, the Italian uh, st uh, style of film, there's French filmmaking, uh, you know, there's, there's Russian filmmaking. And I'm not exactly sure if film changed a lot from the Soviet Union era to, uh, you know, what, what we have now. Um, but Tarkovsky is kind of a good example of that. And ever since I finished Tarkovsky, I have wanted to, to watch some more Russian cinema. Uh, but I do know that Tarkovsky did leave the Soviet Union when after he made, I believe, Stalker. I think it was Stalker. Uh, and then he went on to make Nostalgia and then The Sacrifice. Um, still felt like Russian cinema, but it really did kind of have that more, uh, especially Nostalgia, that more of a, a Italian filmmaking to it. Uh, which I really enjoyed. That's actually my favorite effort from uh, fr from Tarkovsky. Um, and honestly enough, if you are a fan of Tarkovsky, then I would say that Come and See is worth the watch because Come and See is, uh, I, I would honestly say it's more fast-paced than Tarkovsky because that's one thing that I've noticed with Russian uh, with Russian cinema is it is typically slower than uh, the normal cinema so far from what I've seen. Even the movie... Uh, I'm trying to think of what it was called. I think it was Stalingrad, and I actually have that, and that was a Russian film. That was a slow burn, too. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to sit here and say that uh, 
that Russian, all Russian films are slow. It's just the ones that I've seen are definitely slower. Uh, I think, honestly, probably the most fast-paced Russian film I've ever seen is Come and See. Uh, and that's just strictly because of all the stuff that goes on in it. But yeah, Come and See is, uh, it's horrific at times. Uh, it's it's very atmospheric. It's atmosphere right in your face. Well acted. I think the kid in this film, it was his first ever film that he ever done. So yeah, it's definitely impressive. Uh, it's It really is impressive. There's a lot of cool camera shots. Uh, you know, there it's just... It's, it's it's really good and if you're also a fan of like like i said schindler's list like if you're a fan of like that type of world war ii uh cinema uh not necessarily just nothing but fighting but if you're kind of like a uh, uh maybe the pianist or uh schindler's list which i'm like i said i said don't go into this film expecting a schindler's list which you shouldn't um but yeah it really is uh that type of film it's it's definitely more so putting the fighting on the back burner and kind of just showing what uh war does psychologically to these characters because it's a powerful film it really is it's a powerful film uh but you can check it out on criterion i think it's on the criterion channel too but hey i'm all about my physical media but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe i hope you guys are staying safe wherever you're at and i'll see you guys next time